Striving away from being part of the tribe is not exactly what you would call an easy time. But at the same time, would you rather hit your 50s and never have tried anything that you've wanted to try? Or your 60s or 70s or 80s? In that being said, I think it's time to understand that being an individual makes you different from everything else. But at the same time, look at what you could be. And in my understanding of things is that when we have the difficulty of separating ourselves from the tribe, that it is because we are following the energies that have been established for us um, for so long that it's like going counter the direction of everything else around you. I think that in time, um, individuals, I mean, tribes are needed for something or other, but I think individuals really need to have a bit more leeway as to what direction they take in life. And, and that the developmental stages of childhood is where it all begins. A lot of parents seem to cherish the children that are most like themselves and applaud, never actually taking the time to actually look to see what is this child's special gift? What is this child's interest? Where are this child's abilities coming from? If they are coming from a place that has more a leaning towards arts as opposed to the maths, then let them be. Um, I, for example, got a 65 in accounting one year in high school and that 65 didn't make me feel good about myself. I tried my best. I tried hard to get a good mark. It just didn't sit with me. But my English, I got an A. And in my art, I got an A. And those are the subjects that I most enjoyed and took to as well had a natural ability for. Now, I believe that what happens is, is that by separating and going through that struggle, we grow, we become more aware, and at the same time, we have the opportunity to really get into what's truly important is to be part of a family, but be yourself and respect it for it.